highs. Today we shall be developing Arma model using EVOS Arma, which stands for Auto Aggressive Moving Average Model. So, EVOS, uh, we are going to use a uh, foreign exchange uh, euro dollars, especially uh, the modeling of. Uh, of the value of the euro dollar exchange rate at uh, the closing of the market of the financial market we have uh, the closing value we have highest value we have lowest value we have the opening the value at the opening of the market so we we'll use in this tutorial the value of at the closing of the market so let us open our series uh, the first thing to do uh, modeling series using uh, autoregressive moving average is to look at uh, unit roof in our series so uh, to look at unit roof in the series you just need to go on view and then uh, we can first of all look at graph so go on view graph and look at uh, the evolution of our series. So uh, the first step, as I told you, is to look at unit roof in our series. So we'll go on view, uh, unit roof test, click on unit roof test, you can select uh, augmented TK Fuller test, for example, at level. So we have intercept in our series, and then click on OK, so that we can see that our p-value of uh, Augmented decay floor test is uh, 0 0.049, which is less than 5%, meaning that I, at 5% level, you can consider that our series uh, at closing value of uh, foreign uh, of euro dollar uh, exchange rate is uh, stationary. So uh, we can look at uh, other uh, unit roof tests like uh, Philippe Spiron test. So you click on OK. So according to Philippe, uh, Philippe Spiron, our series is not stationary because the p-value is more than 5%. So you can also look, for example, at uh, KPSS so that uh, according to KPSS also uh, we have uh, the uh, LM statistic which is uh, less than uh, the critical value at 1, 5 and 10 percent level so uh, as the uh, Test statistic is uh, less than uh, the critical value you cannot uh, accept, you cannot uh, reject the null hypothesis, meaning that our series is not stationary according to uh, KPSS test. So uh, the only uh, test that uh, give us uh, that uh, confirm the uh, stationary of our series is the uh, augmented unit roof test. So we we'll consider uh, that uh, our series is stationary, even though the uh, graph of our series show that uh, we cannot consider our series to be, uh, to be stationary because our series fluctuates. Uh, Mostly. So uh, let us uh, go to see the, the chorelogram of our series. Chorelogram, uh, go on view and click on chorelogram at level. So then click on OK. You can see that uh, our chorelogram show a autocorrelation relationship uh, in order one, two, three, four, five. You can put uh, autocorrelation. Uh, Term in our armor model till order 
five. So that put uh, closing value lap one, two, three, four, five in our series. And moving average, we have uh, we should only put one uh, moving average element of order one in our series. So as a choreogram of our series is set, we can just estimate our series, our model using the tab QI, then uh, create equation. So when we, uh, we are on tab, you can just put uh, our series uh, closing. Followed by the constant, uh, the intercept. We have a uh, closing uh, lap one. Lap one. You can also put closing till like five. Lap five, as we see, uh, as we saw in the in the program. So uh, we have closing lap three. Have closing lap four. Lap five and the moving average of order one. And then we click on OK by least square. Least square is uh, by default uh, method of estimation. Then we click on OK. And we can see that our model is here, and we uh, can see that uh, almost all our variable of our value are uh, significant in our series. So we have uh, uh, closing lap one at five percent. We cannot consider that uh, the previews, the value of the preview. Uh, I remember you that our series. A, a, a daily series, it's a daily series. So uh, we cannot uh, affirm that uh, at five percent level, according to our model, uh, the previous days significantly influence the value of the day uh, closing values. So, but the uh, lap to uh, closing value is significant. Same thing for uh, lap for the uh, lap for uh, closing values, as well as uh, moving average there. So let us uh, look at uh, our residual uh, the residual of our series. Uh, we, we should test for the normality of our series. Go on view view uh, residual diagnostic normality test. So we can see that at 5% uh, level, we can, uh, we can just uh, reject the null, accept the null hypothesis of uh, normality, meaning that our series is uh, follow the uh, normal distribution. That's good for the uh, econometric modeling. So we can look also at uh, In residual diagnostic, we can look at uh, ETO scedasticity of our series. So we can go on residual diagnostic and click on uh, ETO scedasticity test. And we can choose a bridge pattern dot free test and then click on OK. But we can see that uh, null hypothesis of our test is ETO scedasticity. So we reject. Uh, we accept the null hypothesis of our test, meaning that our series is uh, heteroscedastic. So, uh, how to make a prevision of our series? So, to make a prevision of, on, of our series, uh, we need to, uh, first of all, extend the range of our series. So we came up on our base and we double click on the range and change end date. So we could you can uh, say that uh, the end date was were previously uh, 
April the 24, 2020. So we can extend to uh, May the 1st. May the 1st, 2020, and then click on OK. And then click on OK to, uh, to the size involving inserting a uh, file observation. Then click on Yes to continue and apply for, uh, as well for the program. So our uh, series has been extended. So we can, if we go on the spreadsheet, you should see that uh, there are uh, one, two, three, four, five new value that has been extended to our series. So to make a prevision, as I told you, you just need to go on uh, forecast and give the name, uh, can edit the name of the forecast series. So we should choose a uh, lab dynamic forecast and in uh, forecast sample, we should uh, start at uh, April the 25th. April the 25th because previously our series were ended in April 24. So uh, now we uh, start forecasting at April the 25th, 2020 till uh, May the 1st, 2020. So then we click on OK and you can see that our series uh, forecast has been made. So we can select uh, so we can select our two series closing and closing focus and then open as proof. Double click and open as proof. So we can uh, go on view, plot the uh, graph of our series. So the forecast is not uh, visible. We should we will uh, select our series beginning by the forecasting series. Uh, where then we double click and open as groups, go on view graph. And we can see the uh, forecasting forecast series, which is in blue, and the series evolution in red. So we can see that uh, our model have been uh, have been used in order to forecast that uh, our series is going to uh, go up in the few uh, in the few days. So uh, if you are a trader, you should. Uh, you should buy uh, the money, you should buy uh, dollar so that uh, in a few days the value of the dollar should go up and you should sell when the price will, uh, will reach a, a good level. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope it very well help you understand how to run Arma model.